It is April, but it totally feels like winter. You can see behind me, it's like cloudy and gray. And it was really chilly this morning when I went out to go on my walk. But regardless, soon we will have sun and I will be very happy. just arrived at the home exchange. My um, sister and my nephew already beat me here and uh, took a little nap on the ferry. <laughs> really wound up sleeping pretty deeply. She said it's super cute. <laughs> My sister and I both enjoy a good spa experience when we're traveling, so she signed us up for this Nordic experience, which involved a hot steam room followed by a cold plunge pool and then a relaxation room where you just kind of cycled through these different areas. And honestly, it was so invigorating. So I would highly recommend it if you go to Victoria. And then from there, we met up with my nephew for the tour of the Victoria University. My sister and I were so impressed. We so wanted to sign up to be students there. They had a movie theater, multiple restaurants, brand new dorms. It was really cool. And then we just kind of wandered through these pocket neighborhoods of Victoria, just enjoying the views and the beautiful weather. Good morning. It's Tuesday. My uh, sister and my nephew just left 
to uh, go to Vancouver and I'm here still for a couple days in Victoria and uh, the thrift store nearby opens at 10 a.m. and we had actually looked in the windows and I saw a couple of things I really want. This was two days ago, so I don't know if they're available or not, but I am gonna make the effort. And it is 9.51, so they open in nine minutes. So I'm kind of excited. It feels good like not to have anything on my agenda as far as work or to do items goes. Um, I've, you know, basically been working my butt off knowing I was gonna come here and have a few days off. So it's feeling really good to just rest my brain. And this is such a cute little grocery store. It's exactly the size I like, which is tiny. And you would never know there's a thrift store in here, except that my sister found it. Look at that, they already have the doors open. How crazy is that? And I see a couple things that I had my eye on, so I'm looking forward to this. Isn't that so pretty? 18 Canadian. yellow color right there is the Empress Hotel which is supposed to be spectacular on the inside and they do a high tea which is like $40 I think I don't know if I have any clothes that would be suitable for high tea but I would love to do it just for the experience um, but no matter what I'm gonna go in and walk around and then on this side is the Parliament building, which is also a beautiful building. So I need to get in there as well. This is such a cute neighborhood. The first stop after the last job is the Salvation Army. So I'm so excited. I love thrifting in new cities, especially when it's international. that last thrift store was very very good I mean nothing like outrageously incredible but lots of bread and butter and now I'm going to another thrift store it's called when it benefits women in need and I think there's one other one there so I'm crossing my fingers because so far it's starting to be a very good thrifting day there's also this Beacon Community Services thrift shop, so we're going to pop in there first.
so I pulled out some goods from both of those thrift stores, including these beautiful, beautiful silk heavy drapes with this very, very Ralph Lauren, before Ralph Lauren floral design. Um, very reminiscent of like the 30s and the 40s, absolutely stunning. And each panel was only $3.50. Now I'm headed to an island off the island. Isn't that funny? And there's probably another little tiny island off that island because there's several thrift stores over there. So I'm looking forward to hitting those as well. So that thrift store was so good. I pulled out so much stuff from there. Lots of breakables, uh, like pottery, stoneware, some transferware. It was well worth the stop. My last stop is another Salvation Army. And the kid behind the counter actually said if I donated something, he I would get 25% off. But I had just donated some stuff at a previous Salvation Army. And usually I have a ton of stuff in the back of my car, but I had cleaned out my car in anticipation of this trip so I donated a couple items I bought but it was well worth it because I saved an extra 25 percent Canada is amazing for thrifting I have to say that it's really good I have definitely found some good stuff including a Bose system which kind of looks older but who knows could be valuable another day in Victoria and it's another day of thrifting. There are definitely some, I'm going to say the Salvation Armies are the best thrift stores here and so there's some that I want to get to that I didn't get to yesterday. I'm excited. I mean I feel a little guilty because I feel like I should be doing a lot of like sightseeing. <laughs> But I, hopefully I'm not gonna be gone the whole day. Um, I'll get through these super quick. And then I'll go do some sightseeing and I wanna get to an Indian buffet. It sounds really good, it's been a while. So I actually wound up at the same store I was at yesterday, but look, I actually filled up my car with even more items. I did leave this pot behind. It was a little too chipped, but I did grab these. And then it was on to the next thrift store where I found this beautiful, beautiful landscape, this really nice lamp. It's not quite my style, but I think it's very cute. And then I bought this really cool plate mid kind of mid-century modern for my hosts i would say that this was probably my very favorite thrift store because literally i just filled up a whole cart full of vintage goodies i returned to the very first 
thrift store because I had spotted these mid-century modern brass triangle bookends and I decided I had to have them. I paid $27 US, but then come to find out these retail for $170 on up. So I was happy to get them and I actually did a cute Instagram reel on them. Hopefully you caught that. And I also picked up these bookends, which are like Mexican onyx with some kind of Mayan um, emblem on the side. And I thought these were really cool at $18 for the set. Good morning. It is a beautiful Thursday in gorgeous Victoria, British Columbia. And I decided on my last full day that I'm gonna take a drive up to Salt Spring Island, which is about an hour and 40 minutes. Um, I have heard wonderful things about this island, just that it's really pretty. Um, the, get, the weather is gorgeous. It's not super warm, but it's not windy like it was when I first arrived. And I do have to say, I'm really enjoying my time in this city. I could see why it attracts so many retirees. I mean, just like a lot of places at the moment, you see a huge division between, you know, the have and the have nots, but it looks like people are living in harmony with each other and, Anyways, it just seems like a really lovely place to live. I heard it's really expensive to move here though, but for visiting, it totally checks every box. <laughs> system because I wound up on the wrong ferry. Yes, I was a little I was questioning why the ferry was leaving half an hour before I was told it was leaving, but I didn't really think nothing of it. I take ferries all the time when I'm at home and they're very well organized and there's people all there's ferry workers all through the process that tell you exactly where to go what lane to be in but that did not seem to be the case in this situation and it was interesting it's at one o'clock already <laughs> i really haven't been anywhere except just cruising around the gulf islands if you want to be a world traveler like i certainly do 
um, you have to roll with the punches. Not everything works out the way you want it to work out. Things happen when you travel. It is expected. everybody if you are not familiar with my channel my name is Abigail and I have a vintage and antique store in Polsbo Washington I have a couple of antique booths in Seattle Washington I sell on almost all the major platforms and I also have an Instagram account where I post new items every single day I also have a coupon code for my subscribers, which is love it, buy it. And that gives you 15% off of my Etsy and my eBay shop. So right now the dollar is uh, worth $1.34 in Canadian. So pretty much everything that I show you as far as prices goes is about 34% less than what I paid. I picked up these pieces and these were, gosh, uh, $9.95, so about $6.50. And then this one was $5.95, so a little less than like $4 for this. Now these are beautiful um, brown transfer wear, but Right off the bat when I saw them, I knew even from a distance that they were not originals. I still bought them. I mean, it's very obvious that they are reproduction, but you know, if I collected brown transfer wear, I probably wouldn't care because it is difficult to find bigger pieces in tra brown transfer wear. And these are gonna go to my antique booth in Seattle. I also picked up this one. It looks to say $6. It is such a cool piece. So, you know, if we just round down, it was $4, a little less than $4. Look at how pretty that pattern is and I have to tell you that um, what was really interesting about Victoria is that there were no Goodwills very interesting instead there was a ton of Salvation Army stores and gosh what else uh, another charity store called uh, Win, and another chain of charity stores called Beacon and you know I know there's like huge Goodwill fans I'm actually not a huge fan I think the Salvation Army actually does really amazing work in the community they provide vouchers for people that need clothes that need furniture that need housewares and they do like Christmas baskets um, during um, the holidays and um, I know they provide vouchers for rent and for utilities so they do really amazing things so it was really great to go and see that there was so many Salvation Armies and the prices were really really amazing so here are some transfer pieces that actually are antiques vintage so this beautiful blue and this was a two-piece set so it's a little creamer with this little plate um and it was only five dollars so look at this beautiful stamp on the back i also got the matching terrain to that look how pretty if i didn't already have terrines myself i would keep this but i'm going to take it to my antique booth so look how beautiful that is it is just gorgeous so this was just a huge pottery score <laughs> on this trip i also scored these absolutely wonderful pictures they are very much in the majolica style which originally um uh, came from italy or spain um and then you know other european countries picked up the tradition 
Here are some non-pottery pieces. I picked up these really cute little um, ceramic and brass birds, and these are definitely Mexican hand painted, and they have no use other than they are just absolutely <laughs> so adorable. And then I absolutely fell in love with this tiny little cloisonne snail. It is uh, cloisonne is brass and then it is overlaid or inlaid with other like little strands of brass and then painted enamel and then this absolutely beautiful beautiful brass enamel bowl this one is definitely from india with that gorgeous peacock in the middle and this one is also listed online i think it's listed at either 29 or 31 but anyway so cute if you're into cottage core you'll probably appreciate these i certainly did when i saw them on the shelf but they're these just very simple very beautiful very kind of like english country um, candlestick holders the top is like metal and then the rest of them are wood they are vintage probably from the 1950s and it was ten dollars for the pair making these 650 for the set in u.s another cottage core item that i thought was a great pickup were these these are silver plated um basically little trays but they're made to hold drinks so they're like coasters um and i picked up six of them and i think it was a total of twelve dollars at this little store called Bric-a-Brac. They sold mostly like vintage clothing, but they had actually quite a few shelves for such a small store. I picked up a ton of stuff at really good prices. So I picked up these tiki cups and each one of these was $5, making it $3.50, I think. And look how cute they are. They are so adorable. I picked up this ashtray in this kind of like this smoky glass. It's so cool. Um, this one I paid $3.50 for, so making it, you know, $2 and something cents. I couldn't believe that I picked this sign up. It says exit, obviously for $8 at that bric-a-brac store. And I say, I can't believe I picked this up. And um, these are just kind of funky and fun and industrial. And I, I love a touch of industrial. Also at that bric-a-brac store, the first thing I found there were these little bongos. <laughs> I thought these were so cute. And they were only $5. They are definitely vintage, probably from the 60s, I would say. Um, made in Mexico, La Playa. I don't know, could be 50s or 60s, but for $5, I could not leave those behind, even though, you know, that's really not my genre. I'm like, I don't even care what they're worth. I just think they're adorable, so I'm gonna buy them. I also picked up this really cool uh, Pixar lamp. That's what it reminds me of. It's an architectural desk lamp, and this one was only $15, making it $10 US. And then this one was super cool. Look at this. It's just this tiny, and it is a desk lamp because there's nowhere to actually hang it on the wall. So let's get into the art. I found a lot of art pieces, so I'm excited to show you those. So I picked up this Balmoral scene, Balmoral in Scotland as of the Queen of England's castle in Scotland. I also picked up this one love the shape of this i love again the matting is nice the frame is nice it definitely has like cottagey cottage core granny core feels to it 
I picked up this one. This one was only uh, $2. And I always pick up little uh, paintings like this if I can. They're fairly easy to ship. And people are always looking for small scale paintings or prints. So this one I paid up for, I paid $20 for this. But my gosh, with the Canadian exchange, it was only $13.50. It has the most beautiful blue water and this is a watercolor painting it is really lovely and i love the simple gold frame i picked up this one on the u.s side on my way to the ferry i liked how rounded the corners were on this and it definitely has a very asian very eclectic look to that Another item I picked up at that bric-a-brac store was this little framed print of this country scene. This is also an original watercolor. It is so pretty. Again, I love the mat. I love the frame. It was only $5. I and then the last one is this painting on canvas of it looks like maybe the French Revolution. That little boy is holding a gun, um, but a very good frame. And it was interesting enough and unusual enough for me to pick up. I picked up a few textiles. I'm only going to show you this one, but look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. These are curtains and there was four panels of these and I absolutely fell in love with them. They were $3.50, making them, you know, a little over $2 per panel. Um, these are so beautiful. Last but not least, I picked up this absolutely gorgeous, stunning nude holding an ashtray. I really think that this is a Frank art piece from the 1930s, very art deco. And the most valuable piece I picked up on this trip. Well, thanks for joining me on this week's adventure. I had such a good time. I hope you did too. And if you get a chance to get out and do some thrifting, I certainly hope the thrifting gods will be with you and you find some fabulous stuff. And otherwise, I will see you on the next video.